everybody thanks for stopping by I hope you had a very good Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a very good New Year. This is my take on 2021. A lot of people have been asking me what's gonna happen in 2021. Is the real estate market gonna crash? Are prices gonna come down? Am I gonna be able to buy a home? So this is my take on 2021. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get some info out of it. Let me know. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, you guys, so what I've done here, after looking at all the data, all the reports, I've written down 27 things that I see happening in 2021. Just my opinion. Hope you guys can stick with it. So here we go. We're just going to start off. Equity to go up. So people that have homes, prices are going to continue to rise. Equity is going to continue to go up. Uh, what they have stored in their home, uh, money-wise, is a good thing for people. So equity will continue to go up because it takes me to number two, which sales prices will continue to rise. Sale prices will continue to go up in 2021. So those that were thinking prices were gonna come down, I believe they're gonna continue to go up. Also going up is gonna be evictions as these moratoriums for landlords and evictions come to an end unless they don't extend it. I believe evictions are going to go up. You're going to have a lot of people being kicked out for not paying their rents. Number four, rents will continue to rise. They will continue to go up. Here in the Inland Empire region, uh, we expect 500,000, 700,000 people coming to this region from the coastal areas in the next seven and eight years. So we see rents going up another five to nine percent. Number five, record number of young adults right now 52 percent of all young adults are living with their parents uh with the economy uh not as great as they say it is with it having so many of these lockdowns businesses being destroyed you i think you're going to see a lot of more young adults uh, adults moving back home with their parents living with their grandparents living under their roof this is what's going to be happening uh number six New home sales will continue to rise because of low inventories. Uh, new builders are building, and a lot of people are just going to the new build. So I believe new home sales will continue to rise. Number seven, commercial real estate will continue to fall. We see a lot of uh, commercial real estate has already been in trouble. There's If you go around your town, you see a lot of these commercial buildings empty. Uh, it's not happening. Uh, there's not a lot of business going on. The economy is not as great as they say it is. So... I see commercial real estate going down even more. We're talking about hotels, uh, malls, uh, places like these. You're seeing vacancies everywhere. And a lot of uh, landlords, the mall landlords, they're already filing some for bankruptcies. So it's not going to be good for commercial real estate, especially with these uh, lockdowns that we have, especially here in California. Number eight, office space will increase. We're seeing uh, people that have all these office spaces, these commercial real estate buildings saying, hey, my people are being very successful working from home. So I believe we're gonna see a lot more of that happening. So we're gonna see office space clearing up, more people working from home, uh, businesses just, uh, they don't need the office space. Number nine, residential inventory will stay low. Residential inventory has been low for years. Uh, we have lots of buyers out there. I believe we're going to continue to see this uh, in 2021. We're going to see low inventories. Number 10, lots of tax liens will be coming out. So a lot of people went into these forbearance programs. They deferred these mortgage payments. And a lot of the new loans are connected with your insurance, your taxes, and your mortgage. It's all in one account. goes into escrow. But a lot of these people that weren't making their payments... They weren't paying their taxes either. So uh, when these when it's time for these payments to be coming up, we just had them in December. Uh, we're going to have more in the future coming up, and they're not going to be able to pay tax liens. The city will be coming after these people to pay their taxes, uh, maybe even confiscating some homes. So that's number 10. Number 11, we'll see foreclosures will tick up towards the end of 2021. Uh, we have... Uh, in the past, we've had 9% of all mortgages in forbearance. Right now, it's dropped down to 3%. But a lot of people are still in forbearance, so we're going to see a lot of that. 
uh, they're not gonna be able to make those balloon payments. They're gonna lose their homes and the banks are gonna foreclose on it and they will sell them. So we'll see more foreclosures at the end of 2021, I believe. Number 12, landlords will be weary of people not paying their rent. Already some people haven't been paying their rent. So landlords are gonna be kind of scared on who to rent to. Uh, you're gonna be seeing way more screening when it comes to credit and you're gonna be seeing way more screening when it comes to, um, or are you able to make your payments? So you're gonna be seeing that. Number 13, we're gonna see moratoriums will be ending on these federal loan programs, these FHA and other federal programs, VA loans. They, they held back right now, telling the banks, the lenders, hey, you know what? You can't foreclose on these people. So we're gonna be seeing those programs end as well. Number 14, many will continue to move out of California. Um, California has become a place where if you have a business, they wanna regulate you, they wanna tax you pretty badly. So a lot of businesses, along with people, will be leaving California. A lot did 2020, 2019, 2018, 2021. We're gonna see a lot of people leave California. Number 15, businesses packing up and leaving California because what I just said a little while, just a bit ago, regulations and taxes. We'll be seeing that. Number 16, forbearance will start to decline a lot unless the economy collapses. So we'll see forbearance, uh, less people going into forbearance unless these lockdowns continue, unless they lock down the whole country and people can't pay their bills. So we're going to see a lot of these people that went into forbearance, not able to pay their loans and mortgages. Number 17, manufactured homeowners who uh, lost their jobs during the lockdowns, they weren't protected by these uh, moratoriums because manufactured, uh, manufactured homeowners, usually they live in a park and the park, you gotta pay uh, space rent and that's like personal property. It's not really considered real estate property. It's like Chateau. So what happens is they weren't protected by these moratoriums they won't be able to make these payments. Parks will be kicking them out, selling their homes. Lenders will be foreclosing if they own on a mortgage. Number 18, many will refinance their homes. We're gonna see many people refinance their homes. Uh, refinance uh, was big in 2020. A lot of people took equity out. A lot of people fixed up their homes. We're gonna be seeing refinancing continue as equity continues to rise in people's real estate. Number 19, interest rates will continue to be at record lows. We just saw a 16th record low for interest rates. We're going to see interest rates drop even more. The Federal Reserve said they're not going to be raising them uh, until 2023, 2024, which I don't even think they'll be raising them at all. I think interest rates will continue to drop. Uh, that's a whole other story. Anyways, interest rates will become lower. Number 20, investors, they're going to wait patiently for deals. Investors are sitting on the sidelines of all their money, waiting to buy up deals. Uh, you always want to buy low, sell high. So a lot of these investors are hoping uh, it crashes. That way can, they can swoop in and just take over these manufactured homes, these single family residences. They're waiting for some deals. Number 21, many buyers will continue to enter the real estate market. You know, if interest rates low, you're going to see people coming in. They're tired of renting. Uh, they have the money to buy, they're going to get these loans, and they're going to continue to purchase homes. The only problem is lower income uh, people will not be able to purchase these homes because the prices are too high. So they're already they're already priced out. Number 22, lenders, they're going to increase the requirements for loans. So you're going to see uh, what we've already seen. Lenders, they have a higher credit score requirements, more money. They're going to be probably keeping this and probably even increasing your credit score if you, for the loan. Now, they want to make sure that you can pay. I believe in 2021, we're going to see lenders increase requirements just to get the loans. Here we go. Number 23 is uh, many people are going to enter the real estate profession. They see uh, these million dollar listings. They see uh, people posting, oh, this is easy. This is not an easy place, but a lot of people are going to be entering in the real estate profession and probably leaving it right away. 85 to 90 percent of people that come in and become a realtor, that they leave the first year. So I believe because of the sale prices, the high home prices, uh, people think this is easy and they're going to be coming into the real estate profession. Number 24, many first time home buyers that have lower. Okay, so, so number 24, a lot of the lower income 
uh, home buyers, they're going to be priced out. They're not going to be able to purchase homes uh, in 2021 unless there's a major correction and the prices drop. They will not be able to because they're already priced out. 25, many will be leaving the urban areas and going to rural areas. Uh, we saw this last year with the riots, um, the lockdowns, the protests. A lot of people left a lot of these states, um, a lot of these urban cities, and they moved. They moved to urban, the rural areas, trying to get away from the big cities where uh, just people are, just chaos out there in some of these cities. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing many people leave urban areas, city areas, going to the mountains, going to the country. Number 26, there's going to be pain for landlords. If these moratoriums continue, landlords are going to be hurting. They can't collect the rent from these tenants. They're going to be protected by these moratoriums. And the landlords, they're not protected. They have to pay the mortgage. So just because the tenant isn't paying the mortgage doesn't mean the landlord doesn't have to pay the mortgage. And a lot of these landlords, they got they got loans on these homes. They got loans on these apartments, on these condominiums. They got to pay. So you're going to be seeing a lot of pain for landlords if these moratoriums continue. Last but not least, 27, renting is going to increase. A lot of these people that are losing their homes... Uh, because they're in deferment programs, deferred programs, they are going to sell their homes and then they're going to end up becoming renters. So you're going to see renting increase uh, across the states. And that's my list. That's my list for 21 predictions of what's going to be happening in real estate in 2021. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anything you need, let me know. Cesar Medina with Keller Williams Real Estate. I'm here to help you. What in the world can I do for you? Just let me know. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.